In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to simulate four bar linkages in Motion Gen. Along the right side here is the simulation menu. From top to bottom, these buttons will allow you to add an RR dyad, a PR dyad, or an RP dyad. So let's start by adding RR dyads. Just touch the screen where you'd like the ground link to be placed, then drag the dyad to set the preferred length and angle. Let's add a second RR dyad and the coupler is generated for you. You can tap and drag the end effector to place it where you'd like. And you can see the coupler curves change as the end effector moves. If you don't like the way your linkage came out, you can tap one of the dyads and move the ground link or change the length and angle of the dyad. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen, the playback menu has appeared and you can use this to animate the linkage. Just press play and the driving link will begin to turn. You can pause and continue playing the animation, or you can press stop to reset the linkage to its original position. You can view the timeline of the animation, and you can drag the slider back and forth to set the position of the linkage. You can also capture the current pose of the coupler along its path. But I'll talk more about this in another video. You can pan and zoom around the workspace using two fingers. Just pinch to zoom or drag to pan. If you want to reset the view, there's a button to do that on the menu bar at the top. Let's delete this linkage by pressing the delete button at the top. You can create different types of linkages with different dyads. So using an RR dyad and an RP dyad, you can create an RRPR linkage. Or using an RR dyad and a PR dyad, you can create a crank slider. I'm going to create another 4R linkage here, and you'll notice that once the linkage is generated, two more buttons appear at the bottom of the simulation menu. Uh, this first button allows you to switch the driving link, and the second button allows you to change the configuration of the linkage. You'll notice that when I switch the driving link, a third button appears. And this shows up when there are multiple branches on each circuit. So you can switch between branches and switch between circuits. In the bottom right corner here, you have the visualization menu. And you, this allows you to use your camera to take a picture or load one that's already on your device. So I'm going to load an image here. So this is a mechanism from a textbook, and it's a film advance mechanism from a film camera. You can use this slider to adjust the opacity of the image to make it easier to see either the image or the linkage. So we can recreate this mechanism in Motion Gen. So let's zoom in here and draw the first dyad. And the second dyad. And let's move the end effector out to the hook here. And now that we've recreated this mechanism, we can press play and see what it does. You can clear the image by pressing the X in the visualization menu. Finally, there's an option in the settings menu in the top right corner. And this setting here shows you the coupler positions at various points along the curve. And those are some of the ways you can simulate four bar linkages in Motion Gen.